It's a heavyweight chip. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest man on the planet. All right, so here we go. Number one for Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Ngannou. That landed. Well, he got his head snapped out. Whoa! Or... You ready? You ready? All right, here we go. Up for grabs tonight. The title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. Well, this heavyweight title has changed hands quite a bit as we get round one underway of this championship fight, but not since this man has held it down. Tonight, looking to defend his title yet again, and don't blink, ladies and gentlemen, most of his defenses have come by first round knockout. We'll see if he can keep that trend going here tonight. Straight right, he misses. All right, so here we go. Oh! This could be it right here. Oh! Big punches here. He's melting, that's it. He's that out. is it. He's out cold. Beautiful strike here to end the fight early in the first. Yeah, Joe, we're just getting going, and there's the, the decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce. I'm Megan Olivi, and this is your UFC Minute. As a fighter's wins begin to add up, the pressure to maintain momentum becomes a major factor. To win in the UFC isn't easy. To do it as many times in a row as this heavyweight standout has is a remarkable feat that has this fighter on the verge of even more big things in the world-renowned octagon. As he prepares for his latest battle in mixed martial arts ultimate proving ground. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. It's a heavyweight. 
our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two. Here we go, first one, you ready? You ready? All right, here we go, UFC heavyweight title on the line. This should be good. All right, so here we go, number one versus number two to determine the baddest. Oh! A big right hand! Oh! Well, here's a fighter who needs no introduction to the hardcore fans out there. You've seen him all over social media, trending at times in the past. And now you're seeing the UFC really start to get behind this guy in terms of developing his brand. You may have seen him host a UFC Q&A. And that is, again, another thing that goes a long way when it comes to connecting fighter to fan. Now he's got to perform, though, here tonight. All right, so he continues to land strikes here, Joe, but just not doing a lot of damage because his cardio at this point has abandoned him a little bit. Oh, beautiful. He's got him hurt here. The champ is in deep danger here. He's really hurt, and he is going to lose his title if he can't recover. Wow, he's swinging. That was like a fastball pitch. Just over three minutes to go. So here is the longtime UFC heavyweight staple, Mark Hunt. He has spent all of his career fighting the elites of the game. This is a powerful, rhythmic striker, still very much the king of the walk-off KO, Joe. You remember that fight with Bigfoot Silva, Brisbane, Australia, back in 2013. Still the stuff of legend, still ubiquitously regarded as the greatest heavyweight fight. Art. Here we go, first one, you ready? You ready? All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. So he won the championship fight the last time by vicious knockout. So you can expect not just a bigger gate tonight, more pay-per-view buys. This guy's Twitter following has really soared on the strength of what he was able to do in a championship setting his last time out. So he's not putting any undue pressure on himself to get the finish here tonight. But if his last performance is any indication... Oh! This could be it right here. is not pretty now, Joe. Hopefully his mother isn't watching. That cut on his cheek is getting worse with every strike landed by his... Wow! That is it! And here's the end of the fight. All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Greatness is a feat chased by many but achieved by few in the UFC. To get there, it takes more than talent and skill. To be great, it also takes heart, determination, the willingness to fight the best, and the ability to beat them. He's a legend, a big, big staple in the sport and a pioneer in MMA. Over the course of his UFC career, this fighter has done that and more taking the sport to a new level in the process. He's been a world champion in multiple weight classes. He's made a ton of money, and he's achieved everything he'd ever wanted. There is no question that he is the greatest of all time.